You are what you consume, not just what you eat. Your emotions the receipt of which the cost may make you weep. You are the inputs you put into, the furniture which makes the room. You are a weave spun on the infinite loom, and you have a choice, though I'd suggest you make it soon. If your nourishment is fear and hate, rage and pain, have you noticed what is blooming in the garden of your brain? When your attention is a weapon pointed by the grey-suited shadow puppets plucking on your strings of subconscious instinct, shackled to the cart running off the cliff, do you fight, freeze, or flee it? Because when your adrenal system is on overdrive, there's no way to deny the rate at which the edge arrives. Until you're plummeting, forgot that you were born with wings, an angel tied in cables connected to TVs spouting poisonous opinions, dictating the way you see reality. What you see is what you know, and what you know is how you are. So you become an owned antenna, receiving and projecting thoughts, words, and actions from people desperately pretending to have their shit together and your best interests at heart. When from the start their hearts were shackled too, to a beast called emptiness, ridden by a shattered consciousness, insatiable though not untamable, listen, here's your choice. Continue in your race to the bottom of the cliff, or consume what you want more of, so your roots begin to flourish and your eyes begin to brighten. Until you see the light again, then surely you'll enlighten yourself and all relations till you're shining like the best of friends. Is this verse a blessing or a curse? Depends on how it ends. And that is in your hands.